Hello everyone, welcome to another video at NTS Tech. In this video, I will build this Tesla coil. I will go through step by step procedure and try to be as much intuitive as possible. Now, this was originally a hobby project, but nevertheless, it gave me good insight of different aspects of electromagnetism, including capacitor inductor circuit, lenses law, and parasitic capacitance. Now, without further ado, let's get started. There are only four components I have used for this project. TIP41C transistor, NPN transistor, 10 kilo ohm resistor, 104 ceramic capacitor, one LED and few copper cable, that's all. Now the most important part, TIP41C is a NPN transistor. I have used two different manufacturers, ST Electronics as well as Fairchild. But I recommend ST if you want to have like resilient, not blowing up every now and then. But if you want more bigger arc, I recommend Fairchild. 10 kilo ohm resistor, 104 ceramic capacitor, LED, NPN transistor. Now let's get the circuit assembled. For prototyping, breadboard is the best solution. I recommend you to use breadboard and connect the cables in such configuration. As you can see, I have already marked the DC power source cables, the red square and the black square. The variable voltage I have used is 9 to 30 volt DC. Please connect 10 kilo ohm resistor in such configuration as well as the 105 capacitor, LED and TIP41C NPN transistor. These are the pinout for primary coil and secondary coil pinout. Please see carefully, but don't worry, I will explain the circuit diagram. At this part of the video, I'm making my secondary coil winding. You can use your bare hand as well as drill bit, the way it works for you. The number of coil you make, it matters. The number of turn you make, it matters. I will show you the calculation in this part. But here you can see I'm just using an ordinary drill for making the winding. The winding cobbles need to be fastened with the roller or in my case I was using the water filter. It look like a pipe. Now make sure that they don't fall off. So you, as you go along you are just putting some tape across. Secondary Tesla coil require the parasitic capacitance. For my project I use just a simple 3D printed part. I basically put some uh, kitchen foil on top of it and then just wrap it around this way. But uh, when you put it on top, you have to glue it and make sure the conductive element is connected this way. Thus, a successful parasitic capacitor has been made. And once you are done, the two part, you just solder in both end. These are some of my primary coil. They are just basically ordinary copper cable. In my case, I used different diameter. This one is two millimeter diameter. And in my other cable, I also used just normal breadboard cable. The two end, I just have to solder it to use it in the breadboard. Very easy. Putting how many turns you give for your primary and secondary coil is really easy. As you can see, I have demonstrated that uh, number of secondary coil turn divided by number of primary coil turn. In my case, it was 400 divided by 4. I had 400 turns in my secondary coil. So I get 100 times the input voltage. I used 9 volt to 30 volt. So maximum I can get around 3000 voltage, which is pretty awesome. Now finding the maximum resonance, so basically I'm holding this bulb at same point here and it's on and I'll be trying with uh, different coils. So this is coil number four, the bulb is, this is dim. If I go to coil number two, nothing's happening. Coil number uh, two more a week uh, and top coil doesn't happen. So this is the maximum resonance, this can be said. Here is the circuit diagram. As you can see, the NPN transistor base is connected in series with the 10 kilo ohm resistor, 
with the VCC power source 9 volt to 30 volt and that is also connected uh, in uh, parallel uh, with the ceramic capacitor and the emitter of the resistor the collector on the other uh, way is connected uh, to the capacitor also and the LED is connected in parallel with the emitter and the resistors other pinout and the secondary coil is connected with the LED but make sure the LED ground side is connected with the secondary coil and uh, please uh, the turn of the coil have to be in same direction clockwise so in my case I use the clockwise turn so please follow the clockwise direction and this circuit will work but as you are using the breadboard uh, you know that uh, the parts are not really stable so I recommend to use some glue tag or some other mechanism for sustaining finally I got a working Tesla coil but uh, this is quite heavy duty for the transistor so as you can see I just use a copper pot with some water inside I use some deionized water I also seal the pot with some tip uh, now it is working in this direction but I don't recommend I do I recommend you to get a proper heavy duty cooler which I will be improving next thank you very much for watching all this I will see you at next time